Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So here we're going to integrate x times cos 3x all using integration by parts. Now the key idea is to label a u and v prime. And in this case, I'm going to choose x to always be a u. The reason why, because differentiating x will give us 1. And the idea is to try and eliminate as many terms possible. So that helps. That means cos 3x will have to be v prime. Now the general formula as usual is always going to be... Um, What's so it going to be? It's going to be equals to uv minus the integral of um, u prime times v. So let's let's go ahead and uh, find our u prime and then integrate v prime to get v. So I'm going to do it on the side over here. So let's say let u equal x. That means the first derivative as usual is 1. Let v prime equal, what is it, cos 3x. That means integrating this, integrating cos 3x, what do we get? So <clears throat> the idea is, is that you firstly, you take the inside 3x, you differentiate and then you drop it underneath. So it'll be 3 underneath. So let me just write that down. It'll be over 3. And then cos becomes a positive sign. Then you just copy the rest, 3x. Yeah, yeah, that's really it. Easy stuff. If you integrate, if you were to do sine 3x, it'll be a negative cos 3x over 3. So the way it works, integrating will just it'll, it'll just be a plus minus change. So let's go ahead and finish the solution. So we can say therefore, it's quite slow today. Therefore, uv is going to be x times sine three x over three. So it'll just be, let's just say, let's let's take the third outside. So it'll be third x uh, sine three x minus now the integral. So u prime is going to be one times v so 1 times sine 3x over 3, 3 so just be literally i'll just take a third outside actually so let me rub this out <clears throat> so it's gonna be a third um integral of sine 3x and yeah dx and that's it and, we, and in this case sine 3x is going to give us uh, what's it going to give us here it's going to give us um, a negative cos 3x over 3 isn't it so just like cos gave us positive sign, sine will give us negative cos. So the final solution is going to be a third x sine 3x minus, and because this will give you a minus um, cos, it will be a positive, so 1 over 3 times a third, 9 cos 3x and plus c. Yeah, and that's it guys, I mean... Um, Nothing else really here, just just a case of practicing to get right. So yeah, I mean, um, th this video helped. That's good. And let me know if you've got any other problems, yeah? Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao.